storm chasing program deals with teaching students how to observe the weather and how to forecast it. Um, the best way to do the scientific method is to do an observation, make a forecast based on that observation, and compare what you observed to what you forecasted. And that's exactly what we do. Our first day chasing, we, uh, it was Tuesday the 28th last, last two and a half weeks ago. It was totally unexpected. We were out there and we knew there was a threat for severe weather. And, you know, we stopped uh, in a town called Salina, Kansas, that was in central Kansas. We assessed the situation um, and we decided to ultimately stay put. We, a lot of us were arguing, should we go south or not? What was really neat about that storm is we picked a spot and we'd never moved. We watched the storm form from a cumulus cloud all the way to an EF4 tornado. Well, Scott Steiger definitely kept us um, a good distance away from the storms. I never felt like I was in danger. Um, during the El Reno tornado was the only one I felt kind of nervous at. We didn't even know we were seeing the tornado because it was so wide. It just was this black mass on the ground. And it, it wasn't anybody's fault either. We just got stuck in a major traffic evacuation. And, um, unfortunately, the media, someone in the media in Oklahoma City said everyone needs to evacuate the city. And you cannot do that in 15 minutes. So it was a massive traffic jam. And I believe some people died on the highway because that person on the media said evacuate and they were stuck. So you, out there you learn so much about how a storm evolves. You can learn about this in a textbook and learn about the science and how things happen. But when you're out there, and seeing how things evolve in the flesh. It's a whole new learning experience and it's different reading what something should be and then actually seeing what it is. And really that's what they're doing now with their research projects is they're really comparing what they observe to what they thought was going to happen and why it happened or why it didn't happen. And that's where the real learning happens for a meteorologist. It's a great program and I definitely, I highly recommend any meteorology student to do it.